In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between the frequencies and intensities and giving people a very, very basic knowledge of the two. Okay, so there are loads of different things online and loads of different arguments as to why we would use different intensities and frequencies, but this is a very, very basic starting point. Okay, to do this, I've got a range of low intensity to high intensity products to show you. We actually offer our um, free AM frequency radios to all our customers. So this, these are useful to check a device is working, but you can also hear the different frequencies on this, okay? For the benefit of the video, I'm gonna use an amplifier, just so that you guys can hear it at home. And I'll start by talking about uh, this product here, which is the Medicure Pro. Now, this is a low intensity localized device, which offers three different intensities. When we talk about, uh, sorry, three different frequencies, now I'm confusing you. When we talk about frequencies, the very, very basic principle of frequencies is that we would apply higher frequencies in the morning and lower frequencies in the evening. It's all related to brainwave activity, and if we apply lower frequencies in the afternoon, it's gonna assist with things like sleep. You're still gonna get a benefit of healing um, the, the separation of the cells in the blood and you know all of those things regardless of what intent the frequency you're using so looking at the basic principles of frequency we would go with the lower frequencies in the evening okay let me let me show you what this sounds like so this is three hertz this is the program we would use generally in the evening this is 20 hertz. This is the program we would use you know, in the morning, get, it, give us a kick, get, us, get, get us moving. Now we're talking about intensities, we can see the treatment range of a product. So the further you get away from the product, the weaker the field intensity becomes, okay? Closer, and your treatment you know, is gonna be better, much closer to the device. Then you compare that to something like a flex pulse, Wow. Okay, so right now obviously you can hear that that's a much higher intensity. The treatment is a lot stronger. When we move out, you know, our treatment range of this product is much bigger. So we can, we can use this applicator, this tiny small applicator, with quite a big treatment range. We can also show you quite well how this treats through the body. So if the applicator's on my back, you know, the uh, the electromagnetic fields are passing straight through my body. Okay. Now, the other way we can show the difference in intensity is just using basic magnet. Again, Omni product, very low intensity system. Turn that on. You know, you won't get any response from a magnet. Even the flex pulse at 200 gauss. I can feel that, I can feel that the magnet is, is being moved, but you know, visually you can't see that at all. Looking at Curatron, this is a thousand gauss, this applicator. Now we can actually see that physically moving the magnet. So we know that the intensities of that device are pretty strong. So that gives you the basic, basic principle of intensity and frequency. So now, why would we use different intensities? You know, Numid can only go on uh, customer's experience and, and you know, what we base all our experience from. Um, and we would say that generally, again, as another basic model, higher intensity systems will get you to your destination quicker, okay? So we get customer feedback from higher intensity systems that they're getting responses quicker, um, you know, they're seeing healing quicker, they're seeing pain reductions a lot quicker than your lower intensity systems. And that's generally why the price range is quite a lot. The way to make a high intensity device uses copper coils. The higher the intensity, the more copper that's used. And that does, does you know, generally affect the price of the device. But that gives you a very basic knowledge of intensity versus frequencies.